I've always liked Root. Even when I was a kid, I was known uh, for just, all you gotta do is give him a piece of rope and he's gonna be happy with it if you need to think of a present. Well, an uncle of mine gave me this lariat. This, I hate to, I hate to say how old it is, probably 60 years old. I've had it for a long time. It's probably made out of, of Manila. It's really never been used. I've kept it brand new for sentimental reasons. And uh, I think they probably use a natural fiber like Manila and coated it in hot wax to provide stiffness, help keep the loop open when you're trying to lasso something. But uh, recently I've been trying to experiment a little bit with uh, trick rope spinning. I'm not good at it, as you can see in some of my earlier videos. But uh, I had some of this uh, double braid polyester, very strong rope, this is three eighths of an inch. And I wondered, uh, could I possibly uh, use this? Turns out you can, uh, not real fond of the way it behaves though. Not real stiff, the linear density or weight per unit foot is not as high as I would like. That, that weight helps keep the uh, loop open when you're spinning it. And uh, so I thought, well, how can I increase the stuff to add a little bit of weight to this? I came up with something and I'm gonna show you how I did that. This is the original 3 8 inch diameter uh, double braid polyester. Okay, it, you can see how well it sags like that. This is polyurethane treated, the same rope, just polyurethane treated. I don't know if you can see it, but it's swelled up slightly thicker. It's gained some weight. You know, the polyurethane is soaked into it, has glued the fibers together basically in there and added some weight to it and made it swell up a little bit. It definitely added bending stiffness like this, this bending stuff. This helps keep the loop open. One problem you have though is it also greatly increases rotational stiffness. The original rope, this, twists fairly easily. Doesn't store a lot of it, doesn't spring back so well, but it does twist. So if you're trying to do something like a butterfly trick where you're holding it and winding it up in one direction and flip it around and basically unwind it the other, this rotational stiffness can be an issue. I'm gonna demonstrate the difference here. This is the standard double braid polyester, not treated. I'm holding it up, got a good grip on it, about a foot up. And uh, let me put my safety glasses on because I am spinning something sharp in the air. Okay, this is the untreated double braid polyester. Got it holding it up roughly a foot high. And I've got, got it all stuck in the end of it. I'm gonna just twist it up, you know, one turn, and we'll let it go. It definitely stores some energy, it springs back. And uh, not real hard to twist, and it does store some. Now we'll compare that to one turn in the uh, polyurethane coated. Okay, this is a section of the double braid polyester treated with uh, polyurethane. I'm going to hold it roughly about a foot up and give it a twist. Try to twist it one time. This is really resist twisting significantly. You can see there is no comparison. Much harder to twist. The rotational stiffness is much greater and it really stores the energy and tries to spring back. So if you're doing a butterfly trick, trying to wind it up, if you do get it to wind up, then when you flip it around, it's gonna spring back. And so there's a balance between bending stiffness to keep your loop open and that amount of rotational stiffness. So you just have to play around. Uh, you can dilute the polyurethane, make it less stiff, or you can double coat a section. I actually did that with uh, one of the ropes. I'll show you that in a little while. But, uh, so we'll go up and we'll take a look at how I did the uh, polyurethane treatment. Very easy to do. Didn't cost me anything since I had some laying around from finishing the floors. We'll take a look at that. Okay, when I first did this, I was just looking around the house to see what I had available. I had some, uh, actually this is Tight Bond Ultimate Exterior Wood Glue. I actually diluted that one-to-one -one in a paint pail, and that worked pretty good, uh, and I tried that. But then I had this polyurethane water-based uh, pro finisher um, that I used for refurnishing or refurbishing the floors, and uh, had some left over, and I thought, well, let me try that. So I just used it straight, just put some in a paint pail, 
put the rope in it, let it soak in. And uh, this, I think, worked much better. It's not worth fooling with that. You can just use this straight or dilute it if you need to or double coat it if you need to. Especially if you have something laying around, like in my case, this didn't cost me anything because I already had these things here. But you can try something else if you have it available. Okay, I've got the... I'm getting it soaked in pretty good here. You can tilt this around. I don't think I'd use this polyurethane for the floor again after this because it'll get junk in it. But uh, I've got a lid here. I can save this for other experiments. So we'll let that soak for about five minutes and strip off the excess and uh, stretch it out on some construction paper to dry and then we'll go from there. All right, we're going to strip off the excess polyurethane and just do it like uh, kind of like this. We're going to stretch this out on this construction paper here on the floor and let it dry overnight. I highly recommend wearing nitrile gloves doing this sort of thing. Even water-based coatings are not good to get on your skin. Okay, after I got the uh, excess stripped off, I stretched it out on the floor on some construction paper. Due to weather, I couldn't uh, take it outside. It'd be better to stretch it between a couple of trees. Keep tension on it if you can. You just gotta be careful not to have any kinks in it or once the polyurethane dries, those kinks are pretty much frozen into it. So you need to be careful. Actually, Rhinestone Ropers does a good job of video showing you how he painted his uh, uh, lariats and uh, uh, with white paint and stretching it between uh, some posts and what have you. And so I'll put a link in the description to that. That's very good information. I've got the uh, polyurethane soaked double braided nylon stretched out on the floor. Just weighted it down on the ends, took this construction paper. Now, found it hasn't been too bad about sticking to the paper and uh, try to straighten it up a little bit, get the kinks out of it. And uh, we'll let it dry overnight and see how it works. This is just the regular standard double braided polyester. I do, it's about 15 feet long or so. I've got a revolving handle on it to make it a little easier to spin. We're just gonna try to do a flat loop. There's no treatment on this, no polyurethane or anything. Spins pretty easy actually. Now this is the double braided polyester with a double treatment of polyurethane on it. So it's a little stiffer, pretty stiff actually. So I do have a revolving handle on this to make it easier to spin. We'll try this. Real easy to spin. This is double braided polyester, no polyurethane. Got a rubber band here to kind of keep the lube size about right. Let's try polyurethane coated. Same rubber band, same size rope. All your thing coated rope. easier to use. I hope you got something useful out of this. Um, 
This is one way you can add linear density to your ropes, whether it's, it's polyester or cotton spot cord or whatever. Polyurethane makes it easy. You can dilute it, make it less stiff, double treat it, make it more stiff, whatever you want to do. Um, and uh, it does seem to help adding the linear density and adding a little bit of stiffness. Too much rotational stiffness though, and that can be a problem. So if you got something uh, good out of this, please like the video. Please uh, subscribe and check out our other links. We really appreciate it. Thank you.